Yo, dick wall. What the fuck? What? Three hours late. What's the deal? I was at your father's funeral. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that excuse would have flown when my dad was here, but I'm in charge now. That excuse wouldn't make any sense if your dad was still here. Whoa. In my office now. Yes. <clears throat> Sit. Not a dog, Bobby. Good boy. I've been looking through the books, and you're the accountant. Tell me, why is this company in the crapper? Well, we're not in the crapper. It's a recession, but we're still profitable. Bullshit. Look, I know you and my dad were pals, okay? And frankly, I always thought it was, uh, weird. Gay. Do you know what that word means? Yeah, it's dick on dick. Hey, my bag. I always thought it was a little bit weird that my dad thought you were so fucking special. But that doesn't matter now because he's in the ground, and guess what? I'm your boss. And there's gonna be some changes around here. Can't wait to hear them. Okay, first things first. Hospital bills. Larry Marinsky. Why the fuck are we paying his hospital bills? He doesn't even work here anymore. Well, he doesn't work here anymore because he had a horrible accident in our warehouse, all right? The guy burned off half his face. Exactly. I don't want my money uh, going to support monsters. He's not a monster. He's a great guy who worked for us for many, many years. Cut him off. Second, Envirotech Waste Management. What the fuck is this about? It's costing us a lot of money. Your dad made the choice to dispose of our chemical waste responsibly. In order to do that, you got to spend a little more money. Yeah, fuck that. Guess what? The Bolivians are going to do it for a third of the price. I'm going to hire them. No, no, you can't go to them. Yeah, I will. No, you can't. I think do I will. That. No, they're, they're, they're going to endanger thousands of local residents. Oh, I give a fuck. Some local tribesman gets cancer. Cry me a fucking river. They're not tribesmen. It's a modern society. Do I look like I fucking? Okay, care? all right. Look, Bobby, your dad told me very clearly that he would rather die than save money and hurt people. Okay? Well, guess what? Looks like we're right on schedule, doesn't it? Okay. What else? Oh yeah, we got to trim some of the fat around here. Trim the? What do you mean by trim the fat? I want you to fire the fat people. What? They're lazy and they're slow and they make me sad to look at. You can start with large Marge. Marge, can you come in here, please? No, no Margie's not fat. She's pregnant. I'm not going to fire her. Well, fine. Uh, stay where you are, Marge. Congratulations. You can fire uh, Professor Xavier. Who are you talking about? You mean Hank? Fucking creeps me out. Rolling around all day in a special little secret chair. I know he's up to something. I'm not gonna fire anyone. Oh, you're not gonna me. fire anyone? No. Oh, really? Yeah, really. You know, it's like you don't care about this company at all. No fucking shit, I don't care about this company. Why? You, 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 this is just an ATM to me. You think when I was a kid, I dreamed of running a fucking chemical company? No. I dreamed of being on a beach with a model serving me tropical drinks. That's what I dreamed of. That's exactly what's gonna happen as soon as I squeeze every bit of profit out of this fucking company. But first things first. You either fire the fatty, or you fire the cripple, or I fire all three of you. Decision is yours. You can phone a friend, ask the audience, 50-50. Do the math. One loses the job, or three loses it. Your call. I think I know who you're gonna fire. <laughs>